Well, joining us now, we're trying to get back with Ernest Gaines again to talk about the president's plans to invest more into the black community. Ernest, thanks again for sticking around with us. Oh, thanks for having me. Appreciate being here. So, Ernest, the president has talked a lot about investing in the black community. Your thoughts first on what you think needs to be done in order to help close the wealth gap. Well, I think first and foremost, it's all about education. It really is. Um, when we look at generational wealth and closing that gap, sometimes we have this broad view that we see on media or even just amongst ourselves, the rumors. But when we really understand how economics work, the stock market and finances, it'll help us have a narrow focus on what we need to do in order to be financially savvy and also be able to narrow that wealth gap. So right now, part of the stimulus money is still on the table waiting a yes vote from Congress. You say that's what's needed to help black folks start to actually invest more. Tell us more about that and how it will help put some of us ahead. So the fact that we have this extra money that's coming in, if some of it is extra for most of us, it allows us to participate. So when you are participating and in investing in the stock market or any other type of education, it allows you to fast track a little bit sooner and not be late because we've been missing out over years and years and seeing people create this income outside of our community. So even if we just take a little bit of that income and invest it in financial education or start investing in the different financial markets, we start to pay attention a little bit more because now we're invested and it allows us to start talking amongst our families, start talking amongst our communities in order to be conscious of our financial needs. And Ernest, for the folks who don't know, what is the first step to actually investing to help get folks started? So the first step to investing is knowing that, listen, I have to look for the long term. Let's not get excited and think that we're going to make a whole lot of money right away. Our first point is looking for companies that are strong, companies that we use on a regular basis. And that allows us to invest and you don't need a whole lot of capital just to get involved. So once you're actually involved, right, you're actually more conscious, then you're gonna follow even more. Then you start becoming a part of a community of investors. Then you be able to be more confident into adding more capital to an account. Because investing in the market is all about confidence, just like anything else. When we first drive a car, we have an assistant in the passenger seat, right, to guide us through that. Then we able to get in the car on our own and we feel comfortable. It's the same thing like investing. If your company has a 401k or you have someone that can assist you in the bank, you want that assistance to guide you until you can start doing it and on your own and being a little bit more aggressive. And you talked about kind of finding a strong company. Are there any black owned stock companies out there to start investing in right now? Yes, there's some great black owned companies. Uh, one company is Global Blood uh, Therapeutics, it's ticker symbol GBT. Now what they do is they focus on helping individuals with sickle cell. So one out of 365 of our children born have sickle cell. So they work in those labs trying very, very hard to get solutions and medicines, things of that nature. Another one is Carver uh, Bank, ticker symbol C-A-R-V. It's just a bank in general that has savings. They have different other investment opportunities for black people of a community. And many other ones that we notice as well, uh, U-O-N-E, which is of course like TV1, we have RCJ, that's a land trust uh, company um, that invests in real estate. So a lot of these companies that we can always search and find are doing amazing and they have a lot of capital and they these companies have been around for years and are very strong. So they are around, we just gotta find them. <laughs> Ernest Gaines, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. 